So I wanted to discuss this topic, which is doping in boxing. And it was interesting listening to Michael Spinks <clears throat> as he talked about his history. And when Ellie Sekbeck asked him if he knew any boxers who were on the juice in his time. And he said, yes, I know about that. And Ellie asked him, you know, how do you know? He said he asked his promoter, and his promoter said the guy was on the juice. And he said, man, I got to fight this guy, and plus he's on the juice. And Ellie asked him if he won the fight, and he said no. And that brought me to an interesting thing. In Michael Spinks' career, his entire career, he only had one defeat professionally. And that was against Iron Mike Tyson, which led me to have a look at Iron Mike Tyson. This is Mike Tyson at age 16. And look how big and developed and Hulk-like he is, which means I wouldn't be surprised that Mike Tyson was using anabolic steroids. So I started looking at this. This is Mike at the age of 16, 17. Looks like a bodybuilder, big, buff, and strong. This is him at age 14. He looks big, buff, and strong. Now people say he was a freak of nature, but I don't think he was a freak of nature. I think they were giving him something. And um, look at this. I'm still confident that Mike was on the juice at some point in his professional career. In 1990, Tyson seemed to have lost direction. His personal life disarray amidst the reports of less vigorous training prior to Douglas' match. Contrary to reports, Tyson was out of shape. Sources noted his pronounced muscles, absence of body fat, and a weight of 220 and a half pounds. Only two pounds more than he had weighed when he beat Michael Spinks 20 months earlier. So I'm supposed to believe that he's 220 pounds of lean muscle at mere 5'10"? Give me a break. These stats are not attainable without performance enhancing drugs. In his own book, he said this, confessing he had taken blow and pot before the bout, he said I had to use my Weezer, which was a fake penis where you put in someone's clean urine to pass your drug test. So in other words, he was faking his drug test to get positive results. He also went on to say this, he s when asked this question, what would you do differently if you started training all over again? He said growth hormones. I would use growth hormones like the rest of the athletes, which indefinitely I think he was using anyway. I think he was on growth hormones, which is why he matured so fast and had so much muscle mass. He says this, no, all the fighters are on it. Ones that can afford it are on it. That's my opinion only. I haven't seen nobody do it, but it's common knowledge. So, I truly believe that Mike Tyson used performance enhancing hormones, just never got caught, because as you know, he had his fake Weezer, or fake penis, and so that leads us to the point that it seems as though in boxing this is something prevalent, even way back in the day. Pauli Malinucci brutally honest on Pacquiao PED criticism. What Pauli ended up saying in that interview was that he realized that it wasn't just Pacquiao that was using performance enhancing drugs, but most elite fighters were using performance enhancing drugs. He just happened to be accepting through the rule, and he didn't stay elite for very long. And I think Paulie has a point. Those guys take some sometimes some serious punishment, and within days, they're back to normal. They had to be taking something to perform, to increase their performance enhancement, and that's why they're so strong and stuff. I would not be surprised Floyd Mayweather was using something. Maybe it wasn't banned substance or something identified by Vado or USADA. He's using something extra, something he was using. Um, I know that almost all these guys were using something to enhance their performance. And so Sean Porter, he, he's very, very strong. He's using something. It may not be something illiter uh, illegitimate or illegal or something new. But when you're dealing with Victor Conte and you're dealing with snags, it's something they're doing. Snacks up there. And maybe it's not illegal or something they haven't tracked down yet. But it's definitely something to enhance your performance. But Sean Porter takes a hell of a low and keeps coming. Of course, he's not staying in the sport of boxing for much longer. Not as Deontay Wilder. I wouldn't be surprised if Wilder's taking something as well. And all of them are taking something. It may not be something that's illegal. But it definitely enhances their performance. And ain't nobody that can fool me and tell me they don't take something. I don't think it's just training. It's something else. Supplements, vitamins, whatever. But it's something they're using that's getting them very, very strong. And that's what I believe. You guys have a great one.